Hey everybody, Scott Walters, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I wanna thank you for coming. If you're returning, I wanna thank you for your continued support. Before we get into today's red hot topic, I'm gonna to politely ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Please watch to the end for my final thought. Hit the bell icon so you're notified when new videos are released. It's very important to stay close to the channel in these very, very tricky times. All right, folks, welcome to the channel. It's always an honor and a privilege to be with you. Buckle up and strap in. We have another hard hitter today. We have some massive issues going on. Are you seeing this stuff that's going on out there? Pretty sure you are. You are. Whew, my goodness, this is insanity. So today we have to have we have to have another hard talk. So buckle up and strap in, folks. We're at the front end of a recession. Are you seeing this? Are you are you aware of this? I know I wasn't in the last one. So I know many, many people are not aware of it either. So we have to continue to get ahead of the curve curve and temperature check and heat map everything we can to keep a level head on our shoulders in these very, very tricky times. The reality, folks, like I said before, like I've said many times before, this all comes down to psychology. This all comes down to the psychology of sales. This all comes down to herd mentality. And I'll just tell you what, as soon as recession starts to dominate the airwaves, whether you have money or not, you're buckling up, you're strapping in, you're tightening your belt, you're not spending, and that's going to stifle the economy. All we've done, side note, with this economy is paused the inevitable. Why? Because the pandemic always comes back to the pandemic. This pandemic will, in fact, be... <laughs> uh, it's just going to have a, a lifelong lasting effect on this economy mismanaged uh i'm sorry but this was completely mismanaged they kicked the can so far down the road that you know they just paused the inevitable inevitable they paused a recession and now put us in actuality depression risk insanity so at what what you have to understand folks again pulling no punches it's always going to be hard hitting we're going to talk about hard to talk about things and listen folks i'm a positive guy this is <laughs> maybe that's why many of you tune in because you know that's the case with me but i'm giving it to you and i'm giving it to you straight like my teenage adult kids like to say dad spitting facts again Those kids anyway so folks what we have to understand the majority we're going to keep it local here in America, but I know my worldwide viewers are feeling the same things. The majority of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck as inflation continues to rob them of their savings account. Why? Because they're now subsidizing their cost of living with savings because many of them are getting crushed by this inflation. Crushed at the gas station and food prices, to name a few. I don't know how you guys are doing this with these, oh my gosh, this is insanity, but it gets better or worse, depending on how you're looking at it. it it's uh, not only are most, the majority of Americans living paycheck to paycheck. That is not good folks. Many, many Americans are also living with less than a thousand dollars in their an emergency fund in their bank account they are running on fumes listen and i i really sympathize with all the people that are going through this because i did that in the last bubble why i am probably here today there are many reasons that brought me to the camera for sure but one of the big ones is in fact i lived through the last housing bubble and anytime you place the market the housing anytime you place the housing market in a bubble that's demonstrated demonstrated this type of behavior that we're in now always has resulted in a crash so it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out we're in it again but this time it's almost worse because this is pure and unadulterated market manipulation through kicking the can down the road we have doubled the amount of money in circulation. Our debt sheet, our balance sheet is highest it's ever been, trillions and trillions of dollars. It's just been market manipulation. So folks, what we have to understand is one of the things that's gonna happen is we are in fact in the front end of a recession. We've paused the recession. All our life support measures are pretty much 
spent at this point we are going to pay the piper the dust will settle and we're going to have blowback it will in fact and it already is a recession simply because what's happening now is people are recessing because when i don't know about you when i go to the gas station and i fill up my car you know a lot of times either i'm in a hurry so i, I got to get out of there and i won't top off or i just realize shoot i'm at 100 bucks let's stop the madness insanity insanity we're at the front end of a recession it happened in the last one it's happening again right in front of many but many are not paying attention to it all they know is like me in the last well god grass gas prices are going up i this is really, really bad um <laughs> this is so big so big so folks listen in final thoughts today our job is to continue to be a level-headed realist, understand what's coming, because that way we're, we, we will be way less paralyzed by it when it hits, because we will have talked about it. Our job is to wake people up. Our rewards in life will always be in direct proportion to our contribution. And right now, the way we can contribute is to be, let people know, to ring the bell, to sound the alarm, this is a recession, there's no escape in this one. As this robs people that bought in this bubble of their savings, what limited savings they may have, eventually you're going to get behind on their payments and notice of defaults will be started, will start getting issued by the banks. Mark my words. <laughs> you can help me by simply giving the video a like. You can contribute. Your rewards will be in direct result if you just simply help me get this message out. We can save a lot of people right now. We're going to continue. I'm, we're going to continue to come on and give solutions as we hit potentially a foreclosure crisis. I'm going to be here to help many people understand how to navigate through that quickly and efficiently and get out. But many people won't. They will simply walk away you don't have to walk away from a home you can do a loan mod you can do a short sale so in terms of that is that's what we're seeing now this is just step one of what's coming the inflation is crushing people eventually they can no longer make their payment they will get behind we will see that inventory come unfortunately many people will buy into the shrink back don't spend no matter what and there'll be some heavy hitters. We already know there's many of them out there and a lot of cash right now that are just sitting on the sidelines with their feet up, twiddling their thumbs until it comes. If you appreciate the content, I humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment below. Social media links are in the description of this video. If you'd like more access to me as, along with other channels I've appeared on that I think you will love, including but not limited to my good friend Dan over at I Allegedly. If you're watching from your television set today, there's another video on your screen for your convenience, along with an easy subscribe icon for your use. As always, thank you for your time today. Please go make a count. We will see you on the next video.